What's up everybody, welcome back to The Elevator Life, your number one resource for manufacturing in China. Today's episode is titled, Beware of the Chinese Yes. And this is something we've warned about and touched on in past episodes, but this one is fully focused on the point which everybody manufacturing in China has, or will, or is dealing with. If you've manufactured a product, if you've had a, a rough experience, or you've been taken, or you've run into troubles manufacturing, then the odds are you've been a victim of and you've experienced the Chinese yes. And this has happened to everybody I know in the manufacturing game at one point or another. Of course they grow beyond it, but you have those natural speed bumps. And it comes down to the fact that whether we're talking about prototyping, we're talking about lead times, how long it takes from your order to when your order is complete, production time, quality control, any of these things, your supplier will always say, yes, I can do that. Or yes, no problem. Or yes, we will figure it out. This is always no. Do not take this as a yes. It's not a full on no, but it is a do not believe it. This is not the truth. You have to validate it on your own. And this is a big misconception and a big misunderstanding rather between Western and Chinese cultures. One that's very hard for foreigners to grasp is that Chinese culture will not, they, they will not allow Chinese people to say they are unable to do something. They are unable to complete a task that you'd like them to complete or that you need them to complete. Uh, that is how they're wired, that's their mentality, and that's why it is the Chinese yes. And it, I believe it's also in other Asian cultures as well. Quite simply, you will run into this especially if you just take that yes at the face value, you will no doubt run into problems. So it comes down to the preparation and the due diligence on your end to make sure you're dealing with a quality manufacturing partner. Beyond just the simple asks and the MOQs and maybe looking at the factory, make sure you dig deep. See how much they're willing to share. A few tactics we use, always ask for references. This is important because you want to know one, if they're willing to share them with you, and two, what other countries have they worked with. You can ask this to them, they'll tell you, oh, we've worked with the US, or we've worked in Europe. But okay, say who? Can we get references? Can we hear about this experience? Because uh, there's no better way to vet a factory than if they're willing to share proud testimonials of past or current clients. That's a great way. Uh, another thing that you need to make sure you're doing is if they've passed this test, or if you're not quite sure it's your first time working together, always, no matter what, put a buffer into that lead time, into the production time, into delivery time, into quality control, all of these things. Because, again, it comes down to you knowing this is how China operates. It's not gonna change anytime soon. So you need to make sure that you put these appropriate buffers in place in your manufacturing timeline. So your expectations, and more importantly, your customer or client's expectations are safely guarded by these buffers. Now again, everybody, the Chinese, yes. You will deal with it, I'm certain. But there's certainly ways, there's, there's ways, buffers, and diligence, and preparation work you can do in advance to make sure that this does not affect you. So, be careful. Take that yes, but make sure you do a lot of that due diligence before you accept working that working relationship. Cheers, everyone.